when we all get to heaven. That was one of my things with Papa, because he kept, he kept saying to me, I'd, I'd go sit with him and curl up on his lap, and he would just say, he'd say, baby, I'm dying, and I'm just so sorry. I'm so sorry. And, you know, and I'd cry, and I'd say, Papa, you can't say you're sorry, because when you get to heaven, you're going to be able to see something that makes it all worth it to you. Here we are in Italy, my son. Yes, sir. Do you remember when we first came to Italy and then to all of Europe? I want to hear the full story. And we've tried our best to show him and to see for ourselves the vastness of the last few years traveling around the world. Since its very inception, Paul and Jan Crouch's vision for TBN has remained unwavering the saving of souls for the kingdom of God. From one tiny station in Los Angeles over 40 years ago, TBN has grown into an international beacon for the gospel, beaming across 88 satellites, nine languages, and 26 individual networks. Each one of these networks has a story, a story Paul Crouch was able to share firsthand with his son Matthew as they spent the final three years of Paul's life here on Earth crisscrossing the globe, meeting with not only international station and network managers, but presidents and prime ministers, and countless others the TBN ministry has touched, witnessing firsthand the fruit of many decades of sowing good seed. To hear these stories is not only to journey back into the amazing legacy of God's faithfulness, but to step forward into all that Paul Crouch has set in motion that is yet to be fulfilled. Join us today as we return to Italy and become part of the story of how God is impacting the land that has served as the heart of Christianity since the days of the early church. Why? Why did we come to Italy? Why did we come to the UK? Why did we come to Europe? Why did we go to Africa, South Africa? Well, let me tell you why. I love Isaiah. He's one of my favorite prophets. Chapter 6, who shall I send and who will go for us to the nations of the world and tell them? Then said I, Isaiah speaks, here am I, Lord, send me. And he said, go and tell this people. The same commission comes to us 2,500 years later, just the same. Who will go for us? Who will go for God? Will you say, along with Isaiah, here am I? Will you say, here am I, my son? I am here. Yes. <laughs> Who will go for us, says the Lord? We say, here we are, Lord. We will go, and we're going. In Isaiah's day, the fastest thing was a fast horse. Yeah. And a good rider could maybe cover 100 miles in a day if he was really up to it. Today, we sit in an air-conditioned studio or stand on the side of a hill here looking over Rome and the old Colosseum with a little TV camera and a microphone in your hand. and. We are able to tell them, tell them, tell them. He couldn't live and breathe if it wasn't for the fact that the gospel was going around the world on these satellites. And Lori said it first even. She looked at me and she said, look at what? The vision is so clear. You know, the next step is so clear. It's like it just took it all and just laser beamed souls and that's what it was all about and that's what it's all about today chuck hall our resident manager Hello, of paul. tci italy how are you i am doing wonderfully beyond any anything that i could ever imagine that uh, god would bless me with to be able to be now into my 32nd year wow. with christian television in italy and knowing that God continues to open doors to allow us to meet opportunities that come one after the other 
so that more and more people can know Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. But this is a time that I believe we have more opportunity to reach more people than ever before in history. Obviously with uh, 73 or 74 satellites around the world carrying the gospel. And we're not the only ones. Like we say, we've got uh, the Catholic Church that is preaching the gospel. This Pope is very, very evangelistic, very much wants people to know Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior and yes. is bringing them to a knowledge of Christ. Absolutely. And we have the opportunity with Christian television here in Italy, again, with the channels in Rome and Milan and Turin, to be able to reach people in those cities. But with the satellite, we oh. reach all of Italy, Hallelujah. Sicily, Sardinia, all of Europe, all of North Africa, the Mideast, and as far north as Norway. And we get people responding from the Italian language programming from as far north as Norway, from as far okay. east as Kazakhstan. But uh, now I want to, I want to hear some, uh, one little thing that I, I guess we ought to mention. Um, our main studio is actually not here in Rome, but it's up uh, near Milano in the little town of Marnate. Correct. And uh, you had a hailstorm, I understand, the other day, and it actually caved your roof in. The roofing, yes. And uh, the rain came pouring in, and so you've got a little, we, we have a little need, folks, <laughs> to help our Italian brothers and sisters uh, put a new roof on the studio, I guess. So uh, that is underway, as I understand yes. it. But uh, with that said, uh, I know you can give me a story or two or three of some good things that have happened because of Christian television here in Italy. Absolutely, Paul. And the first thing that I want to say is that because of Christian television in Italy, we have thousands and thousands, and I believe hundreds of thousands, of Italian people who now know Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. We just recently had a young man who was contemplating suicide because he saw nothing in his future. He didn't watch, watch Fox News, but he watched the news in Italy. That's worse. <laughs> and saw every day that things just got worse, that there was less hope, that there was less of a future for him. Yeah. And he really didn't see any reason to live. To live. He couldn't find a job. Uh, he didn't have his parents, and he just thought it was time that he just gave up the ghost. Wow. And how the Lord does it, only he knows, because this was not a person that habitually watches Christian television. In fact, he had never seen our channel before. Mm. But just sitting in his living room, zapping, came upon mm. TCI, Televisione Cristiana in Italia, and heard the message of the love of Jesus Christ for him because the message was to whoever was listening but he received it for himself Amen. and it was to him and you know I heard from him not too long ago and he's doing wonderfully he accepted Christ as a savior oh, he had that God. personal relationship with Jesus. Thank you, Jesus and he has a good job and he has an outlook for the future Praise that he didn't have before but most of all he has the desire that others might like he know Jesus Christ and he supports Christian television in Italy. For the final three years of his life, Paul Crouch crisscrossed the globe with his son Matthew, Laurie, Kalen, and Cody, visiting with international station and network managers, even presidents and prime ministers, while gaining valuable insights into the needs of each country as well as witnessing first-hand accounts of the miracles God has performed in the building out of the TBN International family of networks. Paul went to his rest knowing these miraculous stories and TBN's expanding vision for winning souls around the globe was being passed on to a new generation and to those who would follow in his footsteps. The, the gospel is going to go into the nations of the earth. It's going to happen from Los Angeles like it has been for 40 years, from New York, from all of our studios, from London, from here, from Asia, and we're gonna link the world together uh, and we're gonna see a great final harvest and I know that he'll be in heaven praying that that's super successful because that's what he gave his life for. So, <clears throat> what we're starting to 
help the partners of Trinity understand is that certainly they understand watching Trinity Broadcasting Network. Some of them understand if they have Direct TV and Dish Network, they watch the church channel. Yeah. Some of them even watch JCTV, our youth channel. Some of them watch our youth channel, yeah. the home of Veggie Tales, which is a smile yeah. of a child. A lot of people watch in Lasse. Mm -hmm. Some people watch in Lasse Juvenile. The list goes on, yeah. okay? And so the Trinity Broadcasting family of networks encompasses the world. When you say that TBN needs 70 or 80 satellite footprints, see, that doesn't make sense if you're just talking about one network. No. See, we're talking about 25, 26, soon to be 27 and 28 networks that all have to get where they need to get, yeah. see? So we don't take in Lasse, for example, and we don't take in Lasse into the South Pacific, no. okay? But we do take in Lasse into, into Europe, Spain. into South America, into Central America, into North America, where we have the concentration of Hispanic speakers. So that by example, here we are, could you could you be in any more recognizable place in the world than to have the Roman Colosseum behind us? Uh, what a beautiful shot we have. If you look this way, you see the whole thing behind, the whole nine yards, as we say. But the Trinity Broadcasting family of networks here in Europe specifically, let's talk about how Italy gets Christian broadcasting. How are we going to accomplish that? How is all mankind going to see it together? Oh, do tell. <laughs> Satellite. Amen. Satellite. These eyes in the sky. 70 plus of them are covering this world with the good news of Jesus Christ. And that day is coming. Did you know? You better get happy with me today. <laughs> that we, TBN, you, Chuck, Italy, everyone, we are literally helping to fulfill the prophecy of God Almighty in His Holy Word and His prophet's proclamation. Oh, I'm getting happy myself. So many of you have helped us, believed in us, gone with us. Though you maybe haven't left your hometown, you have gone with us to the world, and this is one of the hubs of our great family of networks. Yes. You know, wh whatever adjective somebody wants to put on it, you know, the, the, I just think the stewardship, the responsibility that my dad felt to build this network debt-free is astonishing. Mm -hmm. He had the ability to not compete and have to, quote, keep up with the Joneses. Mm -hmm. If another ministry had something and we didn't have that, and, and you know, he didn't say, well, we've got to go to the bank and get a loan and, and right. keep up. Right. He just did what God called him to do. He did step by step, step by step. And a lot of times the, the, the old fable of the tortoise and the hare comes to mind. TBN has just been plodding along, debt-free, accomplishing what God called for this family to accomplish. And we did it in the pacing and we did it within the, the means of the partners of TBN. So what do the partners of TBN mean? I suppose everything. everything. Uh, you know, I mean, <laughs> God could, I suppose, you know, have a raven. There's a lot of ravens here. <laughs> Drop coins off on this balcony. And no we one's collect feeding up, us yet. You know, I mean, we, it could happen. But the way that God has chosen to do it for the 40 years is is through the partners of TBN. The precious people. So TBN's, TBN belongs to God's people and all of the 28 television networks that encompass the globe. Millions of homes in Europe are watching us right now on hot bird number 13. Yeah, and one of the networks that carries, uh, hot, that, thir that hot bird 13 carries is called TCI. In Rome, mm -hmm. they speak Italian 24 hours a day. Yes. TCI reaches the entire country of Italy. TBN is reaching the world through Televisione Cristiana Italia.
a long-established operation in Italy. The entire nation of Italy is covered with a digital signal carrying the message of Jesus Christ. Over the air stations reach the major centers of Rome and Milan, and direct to home and cable systems reach the remainder of the country. Amore, Signore, grazie che tu ci ami. Italian programming is produced at our Milan Production Center, and the Italian Language Network reaches Italian speakers all over Europe, North Africa, and the Middle East. Comincia a pensare nelle cose di lassù e lascia che la gloria di Dio si manifesti nella tua vita. Televisione Cristiana Italia, just part of the Trinity Broadcasting family of networks around the world. As Chuck Hall tells us, there are little enclaves of Italian-speaking people all over Europe. Yep. So they're able to get us on Hotbird 13. Hotbird 13 also goes, this will be for another episode, but all the way into the Middle East. Sure. And uh, like you said, we can't build churches in Saudi Arabia, but we can sure go to the little dishes, and there are many, many of them. I'm, <laughs> I'm told that, uh, of course, it's illegal to have the little dish, but uh, one guy wrote me a while back or emailed me or whatever, and he said, we've all got one. Yeah. It's, it's just that we, we hide them in the daytime in our garage or somewhere, and then at nighttime we come out and we set them on the roof and we watch. So he says, uh, technically it's illegal, but he said uh, they'd have to arrest the whole country. <laughs> <laughs> For the last three years of Paul Crouch's life, his son Matthew, Laurie, Kaylin, and Cody traveled internationally, seeing together the remarkable fruit from 40 years of faithful partners sowing seed around the world, seed that has now grown into the TBN family of networks. It was a rewarding and fitting final season for the aging founder as they met with station and network managers, national and religious leaders, and people from all walks of life who've been impacted by this powerful beacon of truth. We spent, I think every day of the last six weeks, most every day of the last three years of his life with him, every day of the last six weeks, and I do want to let everyone know that he wasn't, he wasn't joking, he wasn't afraid of death. And if there is a way to say this properly, he, he went peacefully. He was not distressed, he was not, he, he went peacefully. I think it appropriate to look over your shoulder and the the view that we're looking at here standing on top of this uh, hotel here obviously we are in Rome this is one of the centers of Europe this is one of the locations where the 24 hour a day Christian television partnership network TCI one of the Trinity broadcasting family of networks 24 hours a day in Italy what a beautiful late afternoon, summer afternoon. You're looking sharp. Yeah. Your, your gray uh, collar matches the, the beauty of <laughs> the, the dome. dome back there. <laughs> I just had to stop for a second. And if you just tuned in, we are in the beautiful country of Italy. And uh, these shots that we're taking late afternoon here on a summer day, here in our year of the Lord, 2013, you're looking sharp. You're still excited about satellite, Chuck. You're still in, you're still preaching the gospel. Italy is ours. Italy is God's. Yes. For the glory of God and for the salvation of precious lost souls. The 1980s were rich years of global expansion for TBN as God opened doors in Latin America, Africa, and Europe. The first step in reaching Europe was taken when the network purchased a tiny station in Campione, Italy. It would be the first of several Italian stations that would come online in the years to come. When God calls, He gives a heart for the world. 
You know, we think of Italy as a, a Christian nation, and of course, in a very real sense it is. We think of Europe as being, you know, Christian, but in some ways, oh, there is such spiritual darkness and blackness. And that's, of course, the biggest problem we've had, not enough Italian language programming. On December 15th, 1984, escrow closed on Channel 44 in Campione. Immediately, a satellite dish was installed to receive TBN programming and a studio built to produce an Italian Praise the Lord program with the help of Chuck and Nora Hall. Nora and I began doing Christian television programs uh, uh, after the Lord called us to form Christian television in Italy in 1979. By the early 90s, that one small station turned to 10 when Channel 10, Milan, was added to reach a potential audience of over 4 million people. Uh, I guess the next step, I understand the government is ready now to issue permanent licenses for our stations here in Italy. Yes, applications have been submitted and we'll have those 16 licenses and I think it will give us more and more opportunity to be able to program more programming. And the headquarters of TV on Europe would eventually move to Milan. And this will be the headquarters from which the gospel of Jesus Christ will go to the continent of Europe. When the call came to begin with, to come to Italy, you said, what should we name it? It was just Italy. Mm -hmm. You said, well, Trinity Broadcasting of Italy, Trinity, no, Trinity Broadcasting of Europe. More stations, more new programs. TBNE is growing just like TBN is growing in America and around the world. It gets so exciting to see what God is doing in many, many, many parts of the world. But God wasn't done yet. On March 31st, 1994, TBN closed escrow on a regional network covering much of northern Italy. This largest single acquisition of TV stations in the history of TBN. 22 stations at once. Oh, did we dream of a day when God would drop into our hands 22 television stations covering another vast region of northern Italy. Ben Miller, our esteemed Vice President of Engineering, come here, sir. Tell me, are we on the air in Torino, sir? We are on the air. Beautiful picture up here. As a matter of fact, it's better than the Italian government station. It's the most powerful station in Italy for all of the TBNE stations. From this hub at this little studio, we shoot it down to the big city of Milan over Channel 11 and then up to Campo di Fiori, the Mountain of the Flowers. And that's then where the signal is distributed to many different transmission sites that cover much of northern Italy, the great metropolitan hub of Torino uh, and the great metropolitan hub of Milan are the two principal cities of northern Italy. It's so interesting to me that in the town, in the whole of Italy, where the Shroud of Jesus happens to be in Turin, God has done his wonderful moves again to get his Christian television in where the seat of Satan and communism is. And southern Italy will be coming, but uh, it'll be people talking with people, leading them to Christ, praying with them. Send us around the world with the news of your saving power and your eternal plan for all mankind. How everyone throughout the earth will praise the Lord. For years, Rome had been the missing piece in reaching central Italy. After years of opposition, TBN entered into a joint venture with several local businessmen to get on the air. Once again, the door would shut when these same partners mismanaged the station and filed for bankruptcy. Just as that first station was going off the air, God led Paul to find an even better station in Rome. I know that you faced many trials and uh, many obstacles, and each one of those then, by going forward, has brought you to a new victory, a new success. Yes. God's giving us our very own station that we can literally proclaim the good news. On June 15, 1994, Channel 34 signed on to cover all of the Eternal City. With its transmitter sitting high atop Monte Mario, the oldest private television station in Rome was now broadcasting Christian television. Welcome to Rome, the Eternal City. It is very interesting here at the ancient Colosseum. 
that was soaked at one time with the blood of Christian martyrs now bears the cross of Jesus Christ. We are winning. We are winning. We are winning. Ah, the good news, dear friends, is we are standing underneath the antenna of a television transmitter that covers, yes, believe it or not, the eternal city of Rome. 35 television transmitters and stations. 35, Paul. A network covering this ancient city and its inhabitants. I mean, really covering them. I'm talking network, folks. And when we put, what, Milan and Northern Italy together with Southern Italy, a great, great segment of the nation of Italy will indeed be covered with the good news of the Lord Jesus Christ. This is the time when God will bring many to Christ here. Wow, I was just looking at the equipment and uh, the way you can reach people that I've loved and cared for for a long time, the Italian people. It's just wonderful, Paul. Well, God's putting into our hands the great tools of communication that we need to touch our world. And believe it or not, a lot of good teaching is coming right here to the land of Italy and is being translated into Italian. Let's lift our Alziamo le nostre mani e diciamo grazie, Lord. Signore. Thank you, Jesus. Grazie, Gesù. Benvenuti a Creazione nel XXI secolo. Dio ha creato l'intero universo in sei giorni. All'interno dell'arca erano contenute le due tavole della legge. Ti amo nel Signore. Continua a ascoltare queste prediche perché farò da te per mezzo dello Spirito. Ciao a tutti, ben trovati di nuovo insieme a me per un altro programma. Thank you, Chuck. We are sitting in the midst of a miracle. Mm. God himself has raised this voice up. No yeah. man... No woman, no couple could have ever created what we are living in and seeing come to pass right now. Since that first day, TBN Italy has truly grown into a full network, now covering all of Italy and beyond by satellite, and is now known as Televisione Cristiana Italia, one of the trendy broadcasting family of networks. Thank you, all of you TVN partners, for making it possible for us to be able to utilize the medium of television here in Italy and now throughout Europe to take the wonderful, beautiful gospel of this Jesus of ours to the Italian-speaking people. When God calls, he gives a heart for the world. TBN would like to express our sincere appreciation to our faithful partners for sewing into Paul and Jan Crouch's vision over the past 40 years and making each one of these remarkable stories possible. The lights, the camera, the action, the technical equipment, numerous studios, booking guests, and the gospel going out. Make Paul Crouch's son remember the laser focus that he had on souls. Together, we can carry on Paul's incredible legacy of using mass communication for the saving of souls around the world. I could live three lifetimes and not be able to finish the work of what he could see. Forty years ago, a vision was birthed that carries generations. 